It is always a treat catching a shooting star in the night sky, but some objects flying through space are considered hazardous to life here on Earth. Forewarned meteorologist Stefano DiPietro tells us about a close call we had with a large asteroid just hours ago. Earth just had a very close brush with an asteroid just before 4 o'clock this afternoon, and the asteroid in question was named 1994 PC1, and it was a big one, much bigger than the tallest buildings here on Earth, towering at 3,400 feet, which is significantly larger than the tallest building in the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which sits at just over 2,700 feet, significantly larger than One World Trade Center at just under 1,800 feet, and towering over the Empire State Building at around just under 1,500 feet. So big object, but exactly how close did it come to Earth. Well, let's talk about the distance between the Earth and the moon. It sits at just over 238,000 miles. As far as this asteroid was concerned, it came within 1.2 million miles of Earth, which is five times the distance between the Earth and the moon, which in the grand scheme of things doesn't sound all that close. But as far as near Earth objects are concerned, it's actually one of the closer ones. So let's define exactly what a near Earth object is. It's any object that's orbit comes within 120 million miles of the sun. The reason for that is because that close, it's actually close enough to intersect with Earth's orbit. And so far, over 28,000 near Earth asteroids have been observed by NASA, most of which are within 10 to 25 miles across. However, there are 2,200 of these, or just over that, are considered potentially hazardous. Those are asteroids or objects in question that are over 460 feet across and come within 4.6 million miles of Earth. Now here's the good news. No large strikes are expected for hundreds of years, so we don't have to worry about that. But if you do take a look to the night sky, we can see that we do get these tiny objects to come through pretty much every night in the way of shooting stars.